RSV cases, the virus in children across this country, pediatric hospital beds filling with children, their highest level in two years. Tonight here, the dramatic rescue of a baby with RSV on video. The baby had stopped breathing. She does survive, but there is a warning. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Tonight, the harrowing moments two Missouri police officers race to rescue a one-month-old baby Sir. after she stopped breathing. <laughs> Body camera video showing them take little Kamaya into their arms, immediately performing life-saving CPR. She's, I can feel her. Within seconds, the baby There's is breathing long. again. She's breathing now. She is breathing. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There you go. Kamaya rushed to the hospital where she was diagnosed with the respiratory illness RSV and given breathing support the Kansas City police officers visiting her in the hospital. The parents told us that she was doing okay. It was, it was a great moment. Severe RSV cases in children soaring to levels not seen in recent memory this fall, helping drive pediatric hospital bed occupancy to its highest level nationwide in two years. Premature babies like Kamaya among the most at risk. Kamaya's mother hailing those officers heroes. He's a hero. Like, he's my hero. He's my daughter's hero. I'm very grateful for that man. He saved my daughter's life. And David, tonight, Kamaya is back home and doing well. Doctors praising those officers for doing the right thing, using those chest compressions, and they are urging families to learn CPR because, it's, because it is so often life-saving. David? Everyone praising those officers tonight, and uh, glad that baby girl's okay, Ariel. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's something very scary going on with children. It is a surge of respiratory sensational virus, RSV, that is spreading across the country. And there's a surge of children being hospitalized with this. And there's no cure for it. So they are not understanding right now why this is just surging across the nation. So a Michigan hospital it says that it's 100% full due to RSV, a surge that's going on in that state as well as other states. So a Michigan pediatric hospital is reporting that it is completely full due to a surge of cases linked to respiratory sensational virus, RSV. C.S. Mott Hospital, this is a children's hospital in Ann Arbor, which is 44 miles west of Detroit, said they have seen 259 children that were sick with RSV this season, a 46% spike from the same time last year. Hospital officials said they're worried that the surge coupled with an earlier flu season and a potential new wave of that thing we can't talk about on YouTube could put more stress on the healthcare system. We have been 100% full. I think we're going on our sixth week as RSV seems to have emerged earlier this year and in higher numbers this year. Luann Thomas, Chief Operating Officer at Mott Children's Hospital told ABC News, and the fact that we're already full is concerning to us because we're just starting to see the flu in our emergency rooms. Mm -mm -mm. So some reports have told us that we will soon see an increase in that thing we can't speak about in children during flu season. So not only just RSV, that other thing too is surging among children. Now, remember, these kids went back to school. So you can imagine how bad it's going to get. Now, I did hear about the flu season probably a few weeks ago of how bad that's going. So, wow, so many things happening. 
disease and pestilence, y'all. That's what it is. So we haven't really seen the full impacts of the flu. So, you know, they're saying they're already full. They don't know what they're going to do if there's another surge in the country of other things. The situation in Michigan is just the latest example of some hospitals across the country reporting that they have reached capacity due to a high number of RSV cases. Mm -mm -mm. So according to data from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, weekly RSV cases nationwide has risen from 5,872 the week ending October 1st to 8,597 the week ending November 5th. In Michigan, a five-week average positive RSV test is, they said, increase 95.7 the week ending October 1st to 257 in the week ending October 29th. The latest date which the CDC data is available. Because of this, officials said the wait times in emergency departments at Mott Children's Hospital is a much longer wait than usual. Mm -mm -mm. Most pediatricians can diagnose RSV and can treat it but most children recover really, really well with rest and hydration. This is according to what the doctors are saying. We're really trying to tell the community throughout the state of Michigan, please partner with your pediatrician. Uh, let's use our urgent cares as well. And they are also telling people if they absolutely have to, you can go to the emergency room. Although it's rare, between 100 and 500 pediatric deaths occur from RSV every year. According to the Center for Disease Control, death among children with RSV have already been reported in states including Michigan, and Virginia. Mm -mm -mm. Ewald said the hospital is working to increase capacity by treating children in rooms traditionally used to draw blood and in stretchers uh, lined up in the hallway. Wow, you got that many where you got them in stretchers lined up against the hallway? They're doubling up stretchers in private rooms. The hospital is also looking at transferring patients to local medical centers. We are working very closely with our community hospitals. Some of our community hospitals do have some pediatric beds available. So we're really trying to take a statewide approach to make sure we're taking care of these kids in our state. So y'all, I mean, it is scary. It is scary hearing something like this happening in such a broad way across the nation to children. So you see the illustration on the screen. This is what is posted by the CDC. So did, I guess, parents and, and family members or any caretakers of children can recognize the signs. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.